Hey everybody, welcome back to the Anyway Whatever podcast. I am your host, Mike Fisher, and today's guest is artist Candy Wilde, uh, more famously known by her art name, Candy Wilde. Um, I'm a super huge fan of Candy's work, and to find out that she was a fan of my podcast was amazing. Uh, it was it was really cool to be able to have her on and talk to her about her work and her life. And um, you know, she has a small gallery. She lives in a tiny little town in the middle of in the, of the middle of the mountains in California. So it was incredibly interesting um, to get to know her and how she works and hear about how she came up in the art world as an intern for the very very famous lowbrow artist Piz and um, how she made her own way since. And, you know, I've, I've, I've talked about it before on this show and, and we go into it uh, that her character, her character designs in her paintings are some of my very favorite character designs by any artist ever. She's got incredible style and, uh, and she's just as nice as you could possibly want someone to be. Um, so yeah, this is a great a a interview and, um, and it wasn't even an interview. It was just a talk like this, like this show always, you know, like I always have to go back over and remind myself, this isn't an interview show. It's like a, it's like a chat show. <laughs> I just sit and talk to people and we, and we all get to know them, uh, through their work. And, uh, so yeah, that was super, super cool to have her on. As always, if you are watching on YouTube, hit subscribe, click the bell, share, like, comment. And if you are listening to the podcast version, make sure you hit subscribe wherever you're getting your podcast content and leave us a review. Um, sharing the episode is always super helpful. You know, a show like this, uh, word of mouth and spreading it. Uh, you know, virally through um, social media is how this show has grown the way it's grown. So I always appreciate a share. It's helped the show really, you know, take on a life of its own. <laughs> so, yeah. And of course, we have merch and T-shirts now, T-shirts through Warlord Clothing. And you can find links to both of those stores down below in the description of the podcast. And as always, I appreciate the support. You guys are all amazing, and uh, it's been super fun growing this show and, and seeing where it's come in just, you know, such a short amount of time. And, of course, and enjoy Candy's episode that'll be coming at you right after the funky intro track. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Anyway Whatever podcast. I'm your host, Mike Fisher, and today's guest is artist Candy Weil. And um, I'm Hi. laughing because we just, I just <laughs> was being a dork. <laughs> Why are you? Uh, we we have been, room? we've been chatting for like, for like 30 minutes before we <laughs> even started recording just because we've been on Sorry. this insane conversation that's it's been amazing like and, and I, I totally forgot to record all of it because I could have used it for bonus footage we we were getting into it it was amazing um that's Candy okay. is Candy is a painter and um mm -hmm. uh, you know I hate to I hate pigeonholing people she's a million different things she's a she's a fully rounded human being but she is <laughs> most you. known Thank as you. a uh, as a painter um, yeah. kind of in the lowbrow art scene. Um, yeah. and she's, her character work is, is in the top five favorite character Aww. artists of all time for me personally. Thank you. Um, that's a big and, compliment. Thank you. And so I'm happy to have her on. Hi, Candy. <laughs> Thanks Hi, for Mike. coming on. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we've been having a good time for the last like, half an hour. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. so yeah, I, you know, I, the reason why I initially asked you to be on, aside from just being a huge fan of your work, is that when when I had um, Tom Big Toe Laura on, we chatted about your <laughs> about you a little bit, and he's like, mm -hmm. "You got to get her on, dude." And so, um, and so I, I reached out and asked, and I was super honored that you decided to 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 agree to be Aww. on and um, come and talk about your art. I'm honored. I can't believe I'm. Uh, I, I mean, I told you this already that like lumped in with all these like incredible people, and uh, I love Isabel Samaras, and obviously Big Toe is one of my my favorite people in the world and um, Nick Simich, uh, you know, so I'm, uh, and plus all the other, you know, all the other incredibly talented people that I will get to know as I watch all these podcasts. Um, so I'm, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. And it's, and it's like, it's crazy to me that like, you know, I, I've, I've only had like two people ever say no. And it was literally because they're like, I'm terrified 
of being in front of yeah. a camera and I yeah. can't, I literally can't do it. Like I'd love oh. to, but I can't do it. Um, and one of them was another really famous lowbrow artist. Um, mm -hmm. I, I won't, I won't, I won't put them on blast, but, um, <laughs> you know, they, you know, and, and I was disappointed just because I love their work so much, but I mm -hmm. totally also understand that a lot of yeah. times people who do what we do, like, you know, can be, you know, we sometimes it, it seems We're like gone. you either get one thing or the other. You either yes. get jackasses like me who can't shut up or, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's or me you too. get people right who don't want to talk to anybody. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. Uh, I know I those just, ones too. <laughs> I decided to put my jackass skills to use by making my own show <laughs> where I can talk as much as I want and nobody can make Yay. me shut up. I know. Uh, it's, well, I like it. At least you're entertaining to listen to. And watch. Well, you know, I it would this would be pointless <laughs> if I wasn't. But believe me, there's so many podcasts out and I try to listen mm -hmm. to as much stuff as I can. And there are a lot of people who are not cut out for this line of work. No, I think that's why I don't I don't really do um, much listen to many of them because i'm like all right, all right, this is kind of like stereo instruction <laughs> like, yeah come it's on weird. come on it's weird yeah. um and i'm also really glad in the podcast sense that um i didn't decide to do like a true crime podcast because there is mm -hmm. one jillion of those Yes, the the podcast industry is just just choked full of live of, of true crime stuff, and I'm a fan, and I definitely mm -hmm. listen to a couple of the of the bigger true crime podcasts. Like last uh -huh. podcast on the left is one of my favorite podcasts because those yeah, are I've hilarious. To that one mm -hmm. um, and one of my other podcasts is I'm going to shout out right now because one of the hosts is going to be a guest this this coming Ooh. season is um is the Tennis Podcast, and that's not true mm -hmm. crime. It's just these two guys who have a list of ten things. And the other person has to guess. It's like, what are the top 10 highest rated albums of all time? And then oh, the other guy has fun. to guess what those 10 things are, or what are the 10 <laughs> fastest animals on earth? And like, and like, it's just every week, it's a different thing, like 10 that list. And it's, it's hilarious and amazing. And those guys, great. I have been super fortunate. There are a couple of big podcasts or um, people who are in that in, in the podcast industry who've like just taken a shine to me and have like been super mm -hmm. helpful. Um, and I don't, you know, again, it's like, you know, we were talking before about, um, you know, about sometimes you meet people um, and you and you kind of have to be careful about <laughs> your expectations of who they are yes. as a person yes. in, in real life. Don't and, have um, them. <laughs> I've always been like really lucky that um, I found myself in a place where people who have the power to help me do help me. And, yeah. um, I don't That's know, awesome. you know, it's like, uh, you know, we were, we were also talking about some other artists that we, that we <laughs> had, that are people we know who are common. And one of them was like, you know, he's, he's like, you just like, you're just so likable and people want to, to work with you mm -hmm. and they want yes. to, to do stuff with you. And I was like, mm -hmm. you know, I, I guess I, I guess I figured out something right <laughs> once in my life. <laughs> I think that's the natural quality. I don't think that's something you learn either. Just yeah, you just no, have it or I, you don't, you know, I don't have the ability to be fake. If, 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 if Me I have a problem with somebody, you're going to, you're going to know Bye. it. So if I'm being nice, it's because I'm happy, of, of, you know, to be nice to some, whatever I'm doing. Okay. Um, to, to, to get on a little bit, um, to your work, uh, I wanted, I wanted you to get your shout outs up front where okay. people can find your work because you know you watch the youtube channel and a lot of times yes. people want to go look at your work while they're listening or while they're watching yeah. the, the youtube version I, so where can people yeah. find you online um so i have an instagram account and it's at candy wild with the d um 65 and um I, that's where most of my stuff is updated and um you can that's, that's just kind of where i'm at all the time but i also have a website which is candywild.com and um, that's where kind of my portfolio is, which needs to be updated. <laughs> so I apologize in advance. It happens. <laughs> um, and I'm on Facebook and, uh, you know, and everywhere else. But mostly I think Instagram is kind of, I can only focus on one social media thing because it like, it, it's too much for my, for my mind. So yeah, um, Instagram is kind of where I go. <laughs> that's kind of what I do. Like I have my personal Facebook page, yeah, which isn't I really, I don't really do too much work related stuff. Yeah. All that stuff is all on Instagram for artists. Like, there's no better place mm -hmm. than Instagram to do that mm -hmm. kind of Oh, stuff. it's amazing. Um, yeah. And then like real quick, you have a book out and I'm assuming people can get your book through yeah. your website. Yeah. So I have links to it. Um, I have an Etsy. Oh, I have an Etsy store. Um, duh. <laughs> 
sorry. Um, but I do have um, links on my website and uh, it is for sale on Etsy. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I went through a, um, a large, a, a pretty big publisher, Shipper Publishing, to get my um, book produced. And um, so they're kind of worldwide. So I think you can get it just about anywhere. Was it published by a book label or is it self-published? It's published by, um, no, it's a big, it's a big publisher, Shipper Publishing. Um, and my, uh, my editor is in uh, Australia. <laughs> it's oh, an wow. interesting group of people. Next time I'd like to, um, I don't know if working class would take me. I hope so. But next time I'd like to go through them because they did such a beautiful job on Big Toe's book and Shannon yeah. Brooke. And um, they do, they do, and they do Camp Out Magazine, uh, which I oh, do wow. cartoons for and stuff. So um, next time I'd like to go smaller. I didn't know what I was doing. It's my first time. Hopefully there'll be more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I you know, I think I might have brought it up when I was talking to Tom, but at some point, you know, I have I have twenty five years worth of stuff that needs to be You should a book. make a book. You should make a book. I, I, yes. You know, my problem is that is would like, be a beautiful book, actually. Am I gonna totally make a book about everything or am I gonna make a book about my t shirt work? I could just have I could have two books just about t shirts. <laughs> yeah. I could have two books just about album covers. I could have you know what I mean? I could have yeah. two books just about rock posters. And so mm -hmm. I I look at the stack <laughs> of of burned backup CDs going back mm -hmm. to the to the 90s and I'm and it's uh -huh. just such a daunting idea of like sorting through it what's good enough to go in a book and then like mm -hmm. designing the book and i'm always i don't know how i'm ever going to find the time to do it but um get an editor I'm, that's I'm what if i didn't have, have to my guy i probably wouldn't have done it because he literally did all the work and said here just send me a bunch of images he laid everything out like and he and he was he was fabulous because he was he's a big fan of my work which made it really easy for him and he was like kind of like christmas for him like going through all my stuff, you know, all my old stuff and new things and um, get one of those. Get well, one of those. I think I'm going to need you to, <laughs> to message me your guy's name and see if I can oh, talk he's, him He's into wonderful. It. You'll, yeah, Jamie Kendall, he's, he's the best. Yeah. I'm very lucky so, to have yeah, him. I'm, I, I'm always jealous when all my, because all my, all my friends and heroes have books and I'm like, yeah. I, I, at some point I'm yes. going to have to do it. You need um, to do it. It's really not, not that daunting. I think you, I think you'll find it easier than you think. Yeah. Unless you're like really like being, you know, like really. Um, yeah. I, the word. I, I, I don't want to say that word. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to say that word. But <laughs> make a book. Make a book. All right. All right. All right. All right. I think you talked me into it. <laughs> um, so I guess to, to, for one of the things is that I, I'm not super versed on, um, on how you, how you came up, other than I know that you, um, had, had been around the Piz a lot mm -hmm. earlier in your career. Did you go to yes. art school or are you somebody who's self-taught? I did. Okay. Uh, well, I went to, um, the art Institute in Santa Monica, um, okay. for animation. My, my lifetime dream was to be an animator. Yeah. I, I saw that in that other, in one of the podcasts. I was like, Oh, me too. But I dropped out, um, after a year. Cause Same here. Uh, I, yeah, I went, <laughs> did you, yeah, I went I for traditional, yeah, yeah. Well, that also happened shortly thereafter. Um, so I went for traditional animation, and then they they kept putting me on a computer. I didn't even get to the, I didn't even get to draw the candle flame. I didn't get to make a cartoon. You know, oh, even no. the, you know that first year, and I was like, that's not why I'm here, dicks, man. I wanted to, <laughs> I want to make a cartoon. Um, so then I went to Long Beach City and took sculpture and printmaking, and um, you know, got I failed a few. I failed classes in college, <laughs> art classes. I've never, I've been a straight A student my whole life. Get to college, start failing art classes of all things. Um, yeah. yeah. So then yeah. I was working at a coffee shop in uh, Signal Hill and met um, a friend of his. We were juxtaposed. It was that, uh, that's the first time I'd ever seen him was um, that spread. They, that first spread with the, um, the guy in the car holding on the steering wheel with, the, you know, the junkie guy. Yeah, I can't remember yeah, the yeah. I could probably get uh, the book out, but. Yeah, that's um, one of my favorite paintings of all time. Yeah. <laughs> I love that oh, I know. painting so much. Oh, uh, he's just, um. Gosh, and like I'm looking at this magazine, and I, I'm like, who, who is this? Because it really spoke to me. And I, um, not the, not the drugs and stuff. I'm never one of those guys. No, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know the the colors and all these things. And his uh, best friend happened at the time happened to walk in and be like, oh, he's my he's my best friend. And I was like, what? And he's like, oh, I hear he's looking for an intern. And of course, my manager was like, me, me, me. And mm. he's this you know big tall guy. And of course, his picks me because you know he gets along with girls he's just really <laughs> he's really sweet you know to, to girls it's just how he how he was um so that that worked out and he taught me most everything um design wise um on all that stuff i did 
learn in school, but because um, I, I did advertising design is one of my, I love advertising design so much. Um, and yeah, so because I learned how to paint from him and just kept, and then was completely obsessed. And now here I am. <laughs> here I am. Well, for me, the fact that you went, that you went to school for animation mm -hmm. explains everything about your characters. <laughs> oh, I um, love cartoons. <clears throat> So much. <laughs> I, 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 when I was talking to uh, when I was talking to Tom Laura, we mm -hmm. we when we were discussing you know your stuff, uh, I, I I got to meet John K once and uh, oh, and yes. so he's one of my heroes. <laughs> when I see your work, that's immediately what I think of, and um, not that not that it's Aww. a comparison, but it's in that same that's tradition. <laughs> and uh, yeah. you you it, no, nobody ever met somebody who was in love with animation as much as John K. Yes. And one of John K's big things was um, about style. It's style mm -hmm. in your characters. And um, I think we talked, yes. I, th I think I talked about this with the, um, with the Nick, the director of the Nickelodeon mm -hmm. documentary when we were talking about Ren and Stimpy stuff. And, and oh, again, like, it's unfortunate that, <laughs> you know, the stuff that came out about John K and yeah. the fact that he's such a creep. But, um, uh. <laughs> and so when I, when I see, I every time I've ever seen your work immediately it, it I, I, I go to that same place of and to and to learn to find out now that you learned how to do it right and that's why it's so good um Aww, is not surprising you. to me at all because just the <laughs> balance of your characters and the proportions and the style it not everybody can get that and it you know I'm like in awe <laughs> of how good Thank your, you. your character See, and as I'm a cartoonist <laughs> As a cartoonist who was trained as well, like I, I could never get close to what you got. Oh, your <laughs> stuff is amazing. And uh, I, I learned that from Piz. Those those things that I do, I didn't actually learn in school. I um, mm. by text like, or not text, Piz um, would give me all these text Avery books to look through, oh, yeah. um, you know, when I was, because I'd just, you know, sit there and answer his phone or, you know, whatever, watch him paint and stuff. And um, Piz's girls are, are really my biggest inspiration for what I do. And I feel, see, and I'm on the other one, like, I feel like I do one thing only, and that's the only thing that I can do, so that I, but then my, um, do you know who Ben Montez is? Do you, do you yeah, him Ben Montez oh, is amazing. Ben, oh, <laughs> I love his Ben, work. Ben is my other, um, BFF on, on the internet. I, we, he's like my, my dude, we talk all the time, but, um, he, every once in a while, will be like, I tried to draw this like you, and I can't, how do you do it? And there's, so, the drawings are so cute, but, um, and he's, and he tries to do them without the noses and everything. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but thank you. That's, uh, I feel, I feel very complimented. I, I feel, feel like there's a little <laughs> bit, when I look at your characters, especially in the faces, I feel like, um, where if you look at my work, uh, you can't not see a, a massive, um, Ed Roth influence and Robin yes. Williams influence. I, that's I what I at, love about it. <laughs> when I look at your work, I see a lot of influence from like the Hawk weirdos, which is a very yes. similar, oh, but very, behind me. but a little different, a little different. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, and like the that, painting that's behind you, I mean, that looks exactly like a weirdo. That's from daddy. That's, that is the coffin Kyle. car. Yeah. <laughs> serious. I mean, it, he's up there. I have them everywhere. You can't see in my house. <laughs> I have some, I have some Hawks weirdos kits in, in <laughs> back in behind me too. And it's yeah. funny. My son, uh, my, my middle son, has started this um, business where he does these etched mirrors, and um, and you know he 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 was he's been highly influenced by the stuff that he grew up seeing me do, mm -hmm. like Ed Ross stuff and Rat Fink stuff and stuff. So there's a lot of it has a lot of Fink stuff to it, and mm -hmm. he seems cool. to really love the Hawk stuff. Like he'll yeah. ask me to do. Cause like Campbell. I do a lot of the <laughs> illustration stuff for him. Mm -hmm. He comes up with the ideas and like, they always have these funny sayings on them. Mm -hmm. and oh, like, I love funny sayings. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a link to his <laughs> yeah. Instagram. Cause his work, his work is, it's so cool. I'm so proud of him. And That's um, awesome. he's actually going to be a guest this season too. Yay! Uh, okay. Talking about his mirror <laughs> stuff. And um, cool. he's, he's a cool guy. I love that guy. He's the best. Oh, and, I definitely um, want to see it. Send me that for and sure. And so, you know, he'll send me stuff. He'll be like, I want something like, like this guy. And it will be like a hawk. It will be a hawk uh -huh. face it, rather than yeah. a Roth face. <laughs> and I'll be like, dude, can do. Um, but, uh, yeah. So yeah, I see a lot of that in your work and I, I like, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think a lot of us who 
uh, who are inspired by like lowbrow culture from the sixties and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, and yeah. then people of our like age who, decade. who were re-inspired when it became a thing again in the nineties and two thousands. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we draw from all of that stuff, you know, like yeah. Stanley mouse was a little different yeah. than what Roth was doing. So mm -hmm. there's the mouse stuff and then there's the raw stuff and then mm -hmm. there's the Hawk stuff and, you know, wacky I packages <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> yeah. cartoons magazine mm -hmm. and all that stuff that we all grew up mm -hmm. on. Um, you know, like I, I know for me, I got it from my dad because my dad was a hot rod guy and he was yeah, a striper, you know? And so, <laughs> you know, like, you know, one of the first art tools I ever grabbed out of my dad's stuff, you know, was like a, like an old Mac horsehair pinstriping brush that I oh, still, really? ha I still have that <laughs> in my kit, you know, yeah, and it's you like, you know, that. it's from <laughs> the sixties. It's, it's amazing. It's one of my prized That's possessions. Cool. Um, I haven't, I haven't done much striping in, in a long time unfortunately I never and i need tried. to get back to it <laughs> somebody um, just asked me yesterday can you pinstripe no no don't even, don't even bother the last thing i striped uh, it it's like it sold immediately but i <laughs> was course. like and it wasn't even i wasn't even gonna try to sell it because i was like this is <laughs> trash and like somebody's like i gotta have that and i was like Fuck, yeah. all right <laughs> you know, i guess um but uh you know one of the things and um i don't want to hog up too much of your of your time talking about my crap but um i like it the learning how to pinstripe when i was young and mm -hmm. then all of my art when i was kind of a kid i would it was all you know pen and ink mechanical pens mm -hmm. and yeah, then i use those too <laughs> in the in the mid 90s when i decided i really wanted to start doing like rock posters and like i was mm -hmm. super inspired got kozik and coop and those guys yeah. i was like i gotta yeah. learn how to ink with the brush yeah. And I, and I, I was able to pick it up like that. Cause it's the I was same ask exact you if that's skill. How you do it. <laughs> it, was yeah. the same no, and that, it is, it is. I, 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 I can't do anything. If, if it's not a brush, I, I don't even bother. I hate, I hate markers. I hate them <laughs> so much. I hate them. Um, so like if it's not a paintbrush, cause I was looking through your stuff and I was like, Oh, I hope he's, I hope he's a paint. I hope he paints everything. Cause then, you know, cause that's what I do. I'm like, yeah, now we're in a club, but I Are think you, that's Coop um, and all those guys do it too. Is your work mm -hmm. um, acrylic or gouache? It looks gouache. Okay, because mm -hmm. it looks, it has that that '60s like, gouache advertising look to it. I use dirty water. I'm that's oh. like totally my secret to all the weird colors. Ah. It's dir dirty water, <laughs> or it. like, um, or I glen bar it and do some really cool like undertone, you know, underpainting color like a red or a yellow. Vivid red orange, Liquitex vivid red orange is the shit for that. If you want to like subdue your colors and make them look old, that's the, that's the way to do it. Glenn if Bar's, you if you're... <laughs> Glenn Barr is another one of those people. Oh, that, like his characters are so my... good that it, it I, I get mad. Yes! <laughs> They're so good. I get, I get mad about it. Like with your stuff, I'm like, ah, I can't do that. I get, it's like, it's that every single artist has that weird way. professional right? jealousy where yes. you love something so much it makes you angry <laughs> yes and uh we actually just picked up a painting from glenn Barr, and i'll send wow. you uh oh it's like i this is the prize of the pride of our entire art collection of course oh, and it's just, and it's big too from brassworks gallery in oregon and it's I got this like re it's reminds me of my i have a co painting called culture queen where it's a girl in a junkyard with a gas pump and all that stuff and it's this whole all this wreckage and a bomb and it's got the naga monster and these two like um sirens or harpy i'm not sure what what exactly they are but it's fucking awesome and now i have it in my home and i can't even like i look at it I'm like I can't, I can't even paint it uh, I just can't. i'm gonna go find it and i'm gonna post it <laughs> i'm gonna post it up when i post this episode so oh, that people be beautiful able to see it. it's called the new world it's 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 uh i can't even just tell you how i have a couple of his drawings but like this painting is like Glenn Barr is my is my god. Besides Todd Shore, which I'm glad you've brought up yeah. a number of times. Todd, before, Todd Shore. Is I have the, ruined my, my Todd Shore artist, book. Like, yes, mine yeah, too. He's... I have this book that I keep taping back together because <laughs> I I use it for reference for like how does he light something or like Todd Shore. I've only met him once and he, he kind of walked away from me, but I don't blame him because I probably was like. <laughs> I can't even talk to you. you, you and it was that like Punisher. Right? It was that Mary Karnowski gallery and it was those big it was that um one of those like eight foot paintings. Like and I like uh, I, I couldn't even like I was I couldn't even like Chris was like, let's go and I was like, I can't. I it's here, it's right in front of me. And uh that was my one time to see it. And I met him and I was a dork and I had to go home. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so awesome. he's I'm, I'm in, in the in the work. big in the he's he is my favorite painter of Mine all too. of, of all Robert. time. Like I don't even Robert. I'm like talking like you know Van Gogh. <laughs> yes. like going yes. all the way back back yes. through history todd george <laughs> he is my favorite the master pat, yeah, painter, he, painter for yeah, sure he's, he's um so incredible. i mean you know to be able to do a painting that is eight feet wide and any 10 inches of it could be its own painting, painting? yes is ridiculous it's i mean it's ridiculous and yeah, robert i think i think oh, he looked robert, at robert yeah. williams mm -hmm. and was like oh yeah <laughs> you know and just was like <laughs> Uh, I always felt like he was like kind of like doing that a little bit. I mean, I don't I don't know him. I've never met him, so I can't say. But Robert um, or Todd? No, Ro I have met Robert Williams, oh, and I'm he's sure just Robert, the nicest, yeah. coolest goddamn guy ever. Yeah, um, I've just, been around him a lot. I only talked to him once because <laughs> yeah. he's another one. I'm like just stunned. Like I can't even like, and I shouldn't be. He's his mentor. I should not be. I've talked to him on the phone. You know, when you call whatever. Yeah, he's one ahead. of those dudes. Like. You know, him yeah, and Frank are him. like are super good friends and they're so much the same dude. And yeah. like me and Frank are so much the same dude. It wasn't surprising that me and Robert kind of hit it off, <laughs> hit it off cool. with the time that I met him. And it was like, I think I mentioned it before. And it was like, I was at the good guy show in Pomona mm -hmm. and um, I saw his car and me and my friend walked up and I was like, oh uh -huh. shit, this is Robert Williams car. Uh -huh. And then like Robert Williams just popped up from underneath yeah. the dash and he's like, how you know whose car this is? And I was like, oh, I'm yeah. like a super huge fan. And then his wife was there. Yeah. And she popped up from She's the other so side. Nice. It was like, yeah. boop, boop. <laughs> and she was like, like the super sweet. That he paints. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and so, so, you know, I got a chance to chat with him and stuff. And that was mm -hmm. like, oof, man, that must have been like 97 or something. Oh, that's and, a long um, time ago. Yeah. Oh, it might have been, it would have been before that even. It would have mm -hmm. been like 95, 96 because, mm -hmm. um, um, and I've also talked about this a little bit on the podcast. I'm sure people are probably tired of it, but, um, in the, when I was in video games in the nineties, um, the company, the game company I was at, uh, uh -huh. was like, um, everybody I'm not walking away. We, Keep talking. No. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> do whatever about you gotta to do. Die. I didn't plug in my computer. <laughs> like, yeah, why are yeah. you dying? Sorry. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> and so you know, the company was like, everybody, like we're having like open design call. So like everybody mm -hmm. just, you know, come up with a simple game design for something that you want and a, uh -huh. and a pitch it. And then we'll just all sit around as a company and figure out, you know, which thing we like the best. And so mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, I basically took Mario Kart and I just, I, <laughs> I, I, I applied the entire <laughs> Ed Roth um, yeah. group of characters to it. Uh -huh. And I was like, this would be, and, and, Somehow, like everybody in the company was like, God damn, that's a really good idea. And yeah. uh, and then a publisher was walking through and I had the game design on top of my desk. And there was mm -hmm. like, you know, there was like, uh, you know, just a big, a big fake with like a mohawk, you know, like, you know, mm -hmm. big standard. And the guy was like, Ooh, what's that? And my boss was like, oh, this is like a design that, you know, one of our guys came up with, Mike did, yeah. and, you know, and the guy was like, I rat think is like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> and he's like, I want to know more about that. So. Yeah. <laughs> they went out and they got the license from they no they, shit. they went to Ed and like worked a deal wow. and we started the production on the game and we had like a whole level designed and because Ed had never um he was in the middle the they were in the middle of getting back the copyright to all yeah. of his characters because yeah. he never enforced any of it and uh -huh. so he didn't people would make stuff with like mother's worry and so he had yeah. to go to car court and prove that he owned it even though other people had trademarked yeah. it was like a whole mess so I, at the time I'm not surprised. the only thing he owned was rat Fink. yeah and so he's like well you know we're gonna have to come up with a whole new group of characters and i'm not really interested so i got to uh, do that i got to come up with an entire oh set well, that's cool of 10 <laughs> official get to do it. rat Fink, ed roth approved how cool is that characters it was uh -huh. like the best thing that ever right? happened to me in my life <laughs> other than imagine. my children and uh, uh and it's close <laughs> right. i was gonna say we probably my uh, husband be like man I don't uh, <laughs> and so um and then you know the game got canceled it was like it was totally oh. just a it was it was for it was for the sega dreamcast and then okay. um there was like yeah, that some, thing didn't last in, long, did it? I don't think. No, I had a Sega. And, I had a Sega. <laughs> and it was one of those things where Sega realized early on they're like, "Uh oh, we've got a problem here," and so they canceled any games that were not being made in house at Sega, 
and oh, we wow. were a okay. third party developer and so got it. it got yeah. canned and it sucked and Aww. I was disappointed. It was a yeah. very low point in my career um, because I was getting the art direct a game about the thing I love the most the, the on most, earth. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> Cool but it was, was really cool. And I, you know, and as an animator, um, mm -hmm. I made sure that I was going to get to do the entire set for Ratfink himself of, yeah. you know, he was in the Beatnik Bandit and, um, that's you know, my favorite one. <laughs> I got to do all these cool animations of him, like doing burnout yeah. wheelies and like, ah, it was so much fun. That's and then, awesome. uh, and so that all disappeared for a long time. And then, mm -hmm. uh, when that company finally went out of business, uh, years after that, they got a hold of me and they were like, Hey, we still own all this stuff and we have no use for it. Do you want it? And I was like, hell yes. yeah, I want it. So <laughs> I now own the copyright to all of that Woo! stuff, like game design, all the characters. And there's been That's some discussion cool. with some developers about maybe yeah. trying to do something with it. And you know, we'll see the pandemic kind of shut all of that. Everything. It Everything, kind of, yeah. it slowed it way down <laughs> yeah. every now and then I get an email, like, have you had any time to like, you know, mess with that? And I, mm -hmm. I've been working on it. So maybe it'll see the light of day. Yeah. But, oh, I hope um, so. That's awesome. I'll yeah. Have to just start playing kidding. video games. If that's. <laughs> the thing. Yeah. And it's like, I like, I even like started bringing in like lowbrow culture stuff. Like, um, uh, like the, you know, you know, Kozik's kind of super famous for using yeah. the Preston Blair characters in his work. Yeah. And so like mm -hmm. all of the power ups are like Preston Blair bunny, oh, and cool. Preston <laughs> Blair raccoon. And so That's like so I'm awesome. trying to like cram as, <laughs> as much uh, low brow. I mean, if it ever comes out, it is going to be a low brow oh, art I can't wait. You should racing game. And I you should do think, that too. I mean, we'll, we'll see whatever happens. Put out happens, a video game. But, Keep um, going. So, you know, I, you know, like I said, my dad is, he, I, I mean, one of my first memories is, is seeing Rat Fink as a character. Like that was one Aww. of my first memories mm -hmm. of a cartoon character, you know? And, yeah, you know, I love, you know, all that stuff was like an easy sell. And I, I, I spent a lot of time doing that kind of art in the nineties and I could never mm -hmm. get, get it to go anywhere. Yeah. Um, so I kind of abandoned it. As, oh. as, as a career choice is like, I'm going to try to get into the lose super... and all of that stuff. Yeah. You know, I, That's you know, <laughs> you sound just like me. We're the same. I think we're the same. <laughs> I think we're the same person. Um, yeah, it, uh, it certainly isn't as a, uh, it comes and goes the popularity of all that stuff, the hot rods and the, and the rat things and the, and that's all the stuff that's in my heart. So every once in a while I get to do a painting for just, the, just for the heck of it. And, um, you know, I, I still have it, but, um, I'm glad it's might just stay here forever. <laughs> Cause I love it so much, but I hope you get to put all that stuff out because and I'm really excited you get to do the rat bank stuff. Cause that is. Awesome. Yeah. It's crazy. There's going to be a lot of that stuff coming. I, 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 I told you beforehand and I've mentioned before that I'm creating like a, a YouTube art channel. Yeah. And because I'm a licensed Rat Fink artist at this point, there's going to be a lot of me making Rat Fink yeah. <laughs> related art. Well, I, I mean, why not I, do whatever you want? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm trying to make it as rounded. I'm trying to make that channel a really realistic representation of what it's like for me to be a uh -huh. professional artist all the uh -huh. different types of things that i work on during a day yeah. um, whether it's you know like toy cars or you know any of the stuff i'm yeah. legally allowed to show i've been working on a bunch of like board games and card games uh, oh, for fun. the last couple of years you can do lots of cool stuff <laughs> They Lucky. just announced the one that I was been working on for like the last six months, like Yay! this week, and it'll be a available on Amazon. Uh, Yay! Christmas. <laughs> so I'm excited. Um, and yeah, like super, you know, and so I just want the channel to be like, hey, I might work on five different things in a day and this is what my day looks like, you know, and but uh -huh. and again, like just to be able to like <laughs> I have, have an ex <laughs> what was that? Oh, my dog. <laughs> my dog i couldn't get her in the bathroom so i have one alone on the loose sorry <laughs> that, that happens it happens it's a nightmare in this house like and she's like i need to go out and i'm like you can wait you can wait you're fine and now she wants hold on you guys want to see a really cute dog or she is? oh yep. okay all right bye Doggo. bye love you arrow bye okay okay sorry so <laughs> she's been poking um, me for an hour <laughs> that's fine that's fine <laughs> whatever I, I always say like this is just be like a, people watching two people have a conversation yeah. and that, that's what happens yeah, <laughs> dogs show up just wait till the rest of them up, come home family shows be, up it's gonna be um, crazy. <laughs> so how long did you intern for piz um six years oh, okay. um give or take i i actually stopped going to I, I i was at his house five or six or seven days a week every day after wow. work and i didn't get paid <laughs> so it was on volunteer 
and um he got to a point where he'd like he'd have a joint for me so i'd at least be able to like get stoned and like hang out you know just to get me to stay or play the beatles because i was kind of a hippie style back then um so he like he tried to make it as easy for me as possible to be there but i was there a lot and i'd be there until like night and if it's either as driving to the art store in art Supply warehouse and uh, or um going to la luz to drop off paintings or um copro or you know wherever we <laughs> We, we, we did everything together for a solid six years. And it wasn't until um, I got pregnant with um, my, my firstborn, with my husband. Um, then I was like, okay, I, you know, and I have this baby. And then I started bringing <laughs> him, like. Luke, I started bringing the baby over with me. And he's like, <laughs> and he called himself Uncle Piz and give him like weird, like thrift store toys. <laughs> awesome. And, um, but then I couldn't, I couldn't go over there anymore because um, as much. So then it evolved into like, he, he was, he was really pro my closest friend ever, 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 ever. Um, and, um, it, like I'd call him on father's day and tell him happy father's day and stuff. You know, he's, I was I really, um, really, really love, love that man a lot. He's a pain in the ass to most people, but, <laughs> and he was to me also. Um, but mm -hmm. yeah, I, I worked with him for a long time and, um, we'd still like, I'd bounce stuff off of him and, um, you know, uh, getting a, uh, what's it called? A <laughs> critique from the Piz usually meant bring me a red crayon and he always said crayon and he didn't have any fucking crayons in his studio like so it was like obviously you want a red pencil you know and then he'd literally draw on my drawings with and i'd be like look i did this and i'm so proud of it and he's like cool and i'm like are you serious <laughs> or like on a painting that i had just finished that i hadn't cleared yet you know or whatever he yeah he um oh god i got thick skin working with him <laughs> well i think skin. that's important <laughs> that, that may have been the lesson yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't tell you how many times we sat at his little breakfast nook at this, you know, little fifties table and he'd draw me. This is how we draw a tire. This is how we draw a tire. What's wrong with your tires? And I still can't draw a tire for the life of me. Yeah. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter how many times he showed me. <laughs> Your tires are allowed to be your tire. I don't. I don't subscribe <laughs> to that. There's a right way well, to do things. Well, once thing. I saw Bill Campbell's tires on, you know, for the weirdo stuff, and I was like, oh, that's my tire. They're like sharp, <laughs> and they're not round. It's like that's the tire. That's the tire. Yeah, for me. they they <laughs> don't have that beveled edge like no. the, like the Roth ones do. They're they yeah. Have, they're, yeah. Well, they're they're a little bit more. I I think uh, Robert Williams was such an insanely good illustrator oh, that the so stuff good. that he did set the tone for the raw stuff. And because uh -huh. if you look at Ed's tires, Ed's tires look like the Hawk tires. <laughs> <And> Robert <laughs> Williams tires became the standard for everything like after tires. that, yeah. you know, and um, <laughs> yes. You like uh, in the in the in the ep episode with uh, Nick Simich of Fart uh -huh. Week, we talk quite that a bit about so Robert funny. Williams inking stuff. And it's yeah. like just crazy how good that dude was like mm -hmm. you know like up there for me as an american artist he's up there with frazetta for sure and i think yes. frank frazetta oh, i love frazetta too i think frank frazetta is probably the most naturally talented artist yeah. that's ever come out of this country and that other than like his you know like norman insane. rockwell yeah frank frazetta yeah. and then todd shore yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right there with you right there with you <laughs> and and then robert williams yes and Robert is, um, I don't even, I, I don't, I would yeah, never even just, judge that way. I'm just, I'm being a wise <laughs> ass. <laughs> Robert Williams. We're just is talking a, about it. Robert Williams is a national treasure. I don't think he anybody is. could argue that. I watched yes. that, the documentary that's on Amazon about, uh -huh. about him. And, um, someday, uh, somebody's going to make, and this isn't, this is not a slight against the people who made that, that documentary. I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand the business of, of, filmmaking a little bit and uh -huh. but one day somebody's gonna make a film about one of these lowbrow guys that has some budget mm -hmm. um you know it's and like, wouldn't it be nice <laughs> you know because tales of the rat fink was like it you know it's really cool because it's about ed roth but you know and it was cool that they got john goodman to do the voiceover yeah. for it but you know it's like it's mostly just pictures out of out of like a couple of his books and you know, the it's Robert Williams like a, thing was yeah. really cool because, you know, there was a lot of footage with, with Robert, but mm -hmm. I want somebody to make like a real movie Wouldn't that be cool? would, <laughs> out of one of these guys' stories. Well, and they, it's their so stories important. are amazing. Not only yeah. are they incredibly talented, but all of them have these like just insane stories and the people they met and like, 
all the shit that they got to create. I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm right there with you. I, I wish that they would too. I like a lot of these movies are like those low budget, like, you know, card club videos. Like, yeah, that, totally. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and that's fine. And I get that. I get that. If no, if you're making it as a passion project, because nobody's going to give you money to do it, it's going mean, to be what it's cool. going to be. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and I do kind of love them for, in the lo-fi way for that to a certain degree, because they yeah. are just little love letters. Um, but you know why can't robert williams have you know a, a million yeah. and a half budget movie made about him? i don't He's see why he couldn't character in yeah. american you know art i mean history. his collectors are not little i mean you can't his, he's got some big time collectors oh, so i yeah i could i could see some <laughs> some serious money backing that ass yeah know? for sure i mean maybe I'll leonardo dicaprio or right Nicolas cage <laughs> one day will <laughs> Get up That's why I'm like, okay, DiCaprio's it. both of them. Yes. <laughs> they yeah, can afford totally. Todd Shores. They can definitely make a Robert Williams. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as far as I understand, two of, the, two of the biggest collections of Robert's work are Nick Cage and, um, and Leo. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as I understand. I mean, I don't know. You just, you hear these things. No, I think, uh, I don't, I didn't actually know that Nick Cage was a, a, yeah, a lowbrow he, fan. I like knew the DiCaprio's because. Huge... They collected well, because of his so dad. Yeah, his because of yeah. Leo's dad. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and Billy Shire and that whole, that whole oh, Billy. click of all those That guy's dudes. yelled at me so many times in his fucking parking lot at Lulu. <laughs> oh, he's I only ever been nice Why are you parking here? I'm <laughs> dropping Piz off. Move your car. But I'm with Piz. Move your car. Okay. It's like, come uh, on, dude. I'm only 19. Why are you yelling at me? But he's amazing. <laughs> he's still yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's, and uh, he's, and only ever been sweet to me, but I have never tried to park in the back. So <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do it unless you're, I mean, guy in pants would just go right in the back door and like, not even say he hears him yelling at me. <laughs> he doesn't even say anything. I'm like, you are such a butt. Are you serious? <laughs> God, you're leaving me in this dark parking lot by myself getting yelled at by some crazy dude in a tank top. Like, come on. That's like, yeah. that was like my first experience ever with Billy Shire. <laughs> it's like, he has no idea who I am. <laughs> he just yells, yelled at me. Oh, it's funny, all the experience. I've, I've spent so much of my life at La Luz, my first five years working with Piz, that like I felt home there. Um, so much. What, what years were the, was, what year, what years did that span? Uh, okay, uh, uh, 2002, 2001 to like 2007 or something around, the, around those years. And I still did, went on, we'd go on our art show dates after that, but he got married. Um, so he had, he'd had someone did, you know, he had lots of friends, but he liked to go with someone, you know, sure. it's our show date. So we'll go to a gallery. We wear black. We go to an art show. <laughs> That's what we do. Well, we um, may have met back then. Cause I, w I hung around a little bit around, around that time. I'm sure we did. Um, you know, a lot of the same people I know. Yeah. I mean, um, it, it's, a, it's not a huge circle. <laughs> and I mean, I definitely remembered standing around with Frank and Tom, Laura and Almera and Billy Shire and, yeah. you know, and Piz and all those people having mm -hmm. conversations. So there's no, I was probably there. There's I did, no I did question that, <laughs> that we probably have talked before. Well, Kozik today, but... had um, a show at La Luz, uh, I think with Coop. Um, and, I, I, and he had, remember the, the really big, those really big um, graphic paintings. Uh, Kozik had these really huge. That wouldn't have been with Coop. That would have been his solo show. Coop was there then, um, because he walked yeah, by. Because I was, was like, rah, definitely, rah, rah. I was definitely there for that show. <laughs> yeah, and um, that's where that's the one time that I did meet Kozik, um, and um, he was like asking Piz, like you know, was really unsure of these. I mean, fucking incredible paintings. I was like, how are you unsure of this show? It's like killer. Um, and that, <laughs> like, yeah, those are the, the. I never get to talk about this stuff. That, those are the good old days going to see uh, stuff like that. And, I'm, yeah, I remember I watching him too. paint those. I remember seeing like uh, seeing so cool. like progress stuff. <laughs> And yeah. one of my things, favorite things about Frank is um, that he's uh, incredibly, incredibly organized. Yeah. And so like you see his painting space and it's like every color of tube is oh, like God, laid really? out in the spectrum. <laughs> every brush is like laid out on a desk in perfect from That's small hilarious. to large. And it's like, <laughs> it is the most immaculate and, wow. and handled art space I've ever seen. And then, you know, you know, he's, he's <laughs> that guy's, you know, he's, his, he's his own person. That's for he's sure. Great. He's um, great. Yeah. I, he made a good impression on me as a young artist. And I still uh, look to him for inspiration and stuff. He's, he's pretty incredible. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. I was I've got a lot of his toys. There's, I have, I have, I have Kozik labbits all over my house. Yeah. Um, a, yeah. 
<laughs> my kids, my there. kids yeah. had like my daughter had like a, a stuff lab it when she was like <laughs> seven, you know, <laughs> my son wants a big one. My four year old is like, mommy, can I have this? It's like one of those really big like stuff things. I don't even know where I saw it, but yes, I was like, no, nah, no. <laughs> I mean, and I'm still, I'm still buying stuff. Like I never, yeah. I never jam them up for anything. Like I buy uh -huh. it if I want it. And uh -huh. um, he just came out with, uh, the chia pet like the you know it's like oh a, i saw this yeah and it's got like the, the the stuff grows out of the little it's like it's like the um uh what is the the the, the andy's uh uh labbit where he's got like uh -huh. little sacks of chia stuff like i bought one of those like i showed it to my wife she's like i almost go, did and i was like do i really that. need this <laughs> I should have got, I should get one still. Those things well, are so funny. Well, now they're doing another one where it's like are the they? whole thing is a Chia too. So oh. yeah, there, you'll have another chance if those are sold yes. out. But, okay, good. <laughs> um, and so as, as I know you moved from, from LA up into mm -hmm. um, a smaller community out in the, yeah. out in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, so as far as like showing stuff, did you ever really show down in LA before you moved or do you still oh, yeah. show stuff yes. down no, here and stuff? I'm, um, I'm an art gallery girl. I prefer an art gallery over any, anything like I is selling on the internet and I'm, I do lots of private commissions. Um, sure. I prefer a gallery setting above all things. So, um, the, a lot of, uh, the downtown galleries in long beach I showed at, um, I can't think of a lot of them have closed over the years, but, um, uh, or change the galleries their names. In yeah, so <laughs> like there's a bunch of them in Australia that I've shown in, in Canada and Japan. Um, uh, Crazy Dottie had a gallery for a couple of years, and he, I love him. He's he's a cool guy, and he's incredibly talented. Um, so I, I've 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 shown all over the place. Arrow, seriously. Um, <laughs> sorry, she's still in here. That's <laughs> <No, it's> fine. <laughs> uh, um, so yes, I showed it. I never got. I think I got to do one coaster show at La Luz, and um. I, um, um, I can't think of anybody's name right now either, but, um, yes, I've shown all over the place. That's, that's what, um, I prefer. So, um, I still do it as much as possible. And there's just not, the gallery scene isn't what it used to be. Um, well, a lot it's of not the... like, I love Corey Helford gallery. If I could, if I, Hey, Corey Helford, you know, <laughs> if I could get in there, I would, but I, my style is not for everyone. It really like for people like you and me are like, 60s rap thing, um, hot rod stuff and, um, you know, all that cool stuff. That's not really what people are. I mean, if I put a boob in it, then they're like, oh, hey, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it seems like a lot of the galleries that catered to the lowbrow scene. Um, mm -hmm. And, I, I, you know, I won't name any names because business is business. But it mm -hmm. seems like a lot of those have gone over to the more um, like a culty um, like I, I, I always refer to like the current batch of, um, of artists as like city witches, you know, it's like, they're, they're like, you know, it's like, there's like this whole LA culture of it, it isn't hot rod stuff anymore. No. It's like, you know, it's like big wide brim black hats and Stevie Nicks. Yeah. Dresses why? And, and things are and, like on fire and there's like blood coming off of everything. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, I mean, which and is fine. totally love all of that work. I, I, do, I really do. And actually, um, I have a guest who's coming on this week who is an insane oil painter, uh, um, oh, whose work, yes, I love his oil. work is, is in that same vein. And I, I, mm -hmm. I, I adore it. That kind of work mm -hmm. is amazing. Karen has uh -huh. does that stuff and her work. Oh, is, I know. I know. Her paintings are phenomenal and I so actually when i say at her the what other day. i say uh -huh. when i say what i say i'm not saying it in a derogatory term yeah at, at yeah. all like it's just that what people are buying is what the galleries have to show and so you I know gallery true. trends <laughs> you know kind of do that yeah and like, it doesn't seem like the lowbrow stuff um is super popular anymore in the uh -huh. bigger name galleries and so you it's get a not. lot of the um you get a lot of the of the more occult type you know gothy type of stuff, which is great. And uh -huh. I've been in those shows because I like to paint that kind of stuff as much as yeah. I like to paint rap ink. And part of that um, has been a hindrance to my <laughs> to my gallery um, <laughs> career because yeah. I I can't I can't spend five years getting mastering one style of anything mm -hmm. because well, I want to like, float yeah, from thing to think mm -hmm. all the time. And so it's like, I might do like a super gnarly kind of occult looking painting 
uh-huh. then the next thing I do is going to be cartoon stuff. And the next thing I do. And so it's hard for me when I had one solo show at Hyena Gallery. Aren't those so fun? Oh, I, I, I actually looked that up yesterday and those paintings were beautiful. <laughs> and, and it was it was literally like a painting of like a tattoo style dragon and then a painting of like a super <laughs> cartoony thing and then like some like death metal thing. And then it was yeah. like it was so all over the place that even when I walked in and saw it hung, I was like, well, this is weird. I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen anybody's solo show that was so scattered <laughs> in subject matter. Um, I like and it. And it, it sucks because, at, at, you know, it's like if you're an artist, especially if you're a person who puts paint on canvases mm-hmm. at any level, you yeah. you want your work to be shown in galleries, man. Like, I don't yes. care what anybody says. And so I've suffered a little yeah. bit from that. And, and But it's of my own it's doing. Hard. So I have nobody but myself <laughs> to blame. But I got to keep myself interested and entertained, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I don't. I, my dad told me a very long time ago, pick a pick a hobby, you know, like. <laughs> Cause I was like, I, I make glass beads and with a torch and I, um, I like to, mm. you know, sew and I, I like to do all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't say I'm very good at any of those things. Uh, but my dad said, you got to narrow it down, pick your signature too. quit signing all your shit all different and like, you know, pick it and, and get and stick with it. And it's been, um, I'm, I'm really awesome that he told me that. Cause now that I've been able to focus for the last 10 years on what I truly love to do, it's, um, made me better at this one thing and, and um, you know, I, I suck at all the other stuff, but I still like it. I still like, like sculpture. I love sculpture stuff. I can't do it, but I do uh, that's it anyway. Like, sculpting is the one oh, it's so hard. thing that I've <laughs> never, like I tried to do it and I was like, I am terrible at this and I'm never going to do it again. And, it, <laughs> and the, like, so I would love, like I, of course, because I can't do it, I think it's uh-huh. the greatest thing ever when I see oh, it's really amazing. good sculpture. I'm yeah. like, uh, because yeah. I don't possess the skills, so I admire <sighs> it. Um, yes, I'm right there with then, that. My husband's like, you should just not do this. Just don't even, <laughs> can you just paint <laughs> some more? Like, why are you wasting your time? He's so good at keeping uh, me focused. He's like, just, just do it. Well, your <laughs> paintings are, they're so ridiculously good that it does seem like a shame that, that you don't really... I mean, you should do whatever you want to do, but if there was less of your paintings in the world, that that's, I don't feel good about that either. <laughs> <laughs> no, I prefer to paint of all things, you know, a ball ball. There's not like every yeah. day I draw and every, every day I draw and paint. I don't think there's, there's rarely a day. I didn't on Thanksgiving. I think I took the day off, but like, and it's like in between like giving someone a piece of toast or, um, you know, taking some, you know, letting the dog out, oh, whatever, yeah. you know, You're all the, all the craziness. Mom, that's- so. You're a full-time yeah. mom with young kids. Like that's, <laughs> that is a very important job. And so, yes. you know, I totally I have get a, it. I have a helping, I have a good husband too, luckily that's um, supportive and amazing and uh, took them away to on an hour and a half long drive to get to the house today. That's oh awesome. gosh. I luckily, tell them I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Just, you'll, I'm sure that uh, they're going to be here at the end of it. I can just feel it. It's going to be hilarious. That's awesome. So um, as far as your work is concerned, do you have, mm-hmm. I know you have a, you have a store in the town where you're at. Do you, do you, is it like all it's just your work or it's, so yeah. it's, a, it's a gallery? It's all yeah. different types of yeah, stuff. So, so um, the, I live in the Eastern Sierra mountains and uh, in Bridgeport and uh, we're basically a ghost town. Um, like le- legitimately we live close the, about 10 minutes away from the, the most well-preserved ghost town in America or maybe in the world. Wow. Bodie is like, fucking cool and haunted and cursed it's really cool um and we opened a gallery last year um with uh my best friend and uh, my husband and um so we actually have um ben montes has given us work um, mm. big toe of course and ken ruzik and um wiesner we're getting keith in uh, he sent us some prints and stuff and we've got some um collage work which i never really was into collage work until um we've, I've met uh, this one artist, Angela Caldwell, and she's like, does this insane, like really natural. Um, she's, she's super cool. Um, so we show all these guys and we've got, um, a, this sculpture artist and I had uh, Brian and I'm going to say his name wrong. Gian Bastani, I think is how you say it. Um, but he made us made this really like humongous, uh, spaceship UFO with like a glass bubble and a little dude. It's all, it's all, it's basic. We have the Hawk weirdos in there that we sell to, but it's all, um, based around cryptids and Bigfoot and, uh, uh, the ghost oh, stories nice. in the mountains and um my husband's a writer on top of a dj and a welder and all the wonderful things that he puts in this world um so he writes these stories called the, the strange stories and it's all about um the sightings in the area like there's uh our whole area is all Paiute land um mm-hmm. we live really we i mean the natives are all 
Um, in California, you like, can't live somewhere yeah. that isn't. Well, it's, <laughs> some it's very prevalent. Land. The tribe, the tribe owns the general store in town, and um, we live very close to the to the reservation. Um, and the, it's really cool. Like we we have a really cool neighborhood of people. But that sounds awesome. um, so there's skinwalkers, and there's all this really cool shit in this area. Yeah. Um, and, uh, the more we talk to the locals about things, like we hear more stories about, oh, there's a big big sighting at Mono Lake or the, um, we see, you see weird lights over the Sawtooth Mountains and, um, me and my husband, my husband especially are really into all that stuff. So I, our gallery is basically all of that stuff though. You know, the present of night. That sounds crawl. amazing. <laughs> I that love sounds monsters. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a little, it's a little space, but, um, uh, we, we certainly, uh enjoy it <laughs> i i always prefer little gallery spaces anyway i think that mm -hmm. that's always ends up having like a lot of really interesting stuff and yeah. stuff like that especially yeah. like in a small town i think that i think that would be even cooler like oh, if you're just yeah we thought the town and, you know <laughs> yeah and the, we thought the town would be like what is wrong with you guys <laughs> you're like you guys are the weirdest people you know because there's Hill, hillbillies and, you know and um and really great people we have lots of really cool people we, we discussed uh, that before we started recording and, too yeah. is you know like in, if you live in california and you go into the mountains yeah we're in the mountains That's it's exactly. not hollywood out there <laughs> you know what i mean it's, they're wonderful people um our town is a hundred and almost 160 years old um wow. we have the oldest uh used um uh courthouse in use today it's over wow. 150 years old yeah it's really cool um <laughs> I love stuff like that. I, oh, it's I so neat. I wish like more that. people came to visit. <laughs> it's really well, cool. we'll have to. Me and my wife. Once everything opens up, we'll have to. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to shoot up there and check it out. I like mean, maybe when you have a show, let me know, and I'll I'll, I'll submit something for for one year. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. To. And if you want to, uh, we don't do like monthly shows, unfortunately, because we're not. You know, the right traffic now, is here during any the summer. Stuff. Yeah. Well, it's a fishing <laughs> community, so during the fishing months is when people are up here uh, fishing, right. you know, um, recreating, camping, because we're just a stone's throw from the Yosemite. So we're basically like little Yosemite. Um, oh, okay. It's fucking beautiful here. I live in heaven. It's, it's insanely gorgeous. <laughs> That's like, awesome. It's insanely gorgeous. Yeah. Well, it makes <laughs> me happy that you're happy with piece. where you live. I always, oh, yeah, I, I always, always love to hear that people are living their best life for sure. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, uh, I refuse to be a hater. I want everybody to be, I want everybody to be winning all the time. And, <laughs> and so, so that's good. For, that's good. I'm glad like to hear that. that. Um, and now that yeah, I know that your it. husband has so many rad hobbies, like him, we're yeah. going to have to book him as a guest too. <laughs> oh, he's, uh, and he, if you can get him, he's one of those, uh, quiet until he like, you know, you earn it from him. And then He's, um, God, he's just so good at so many things. And, um, he sent me a friend request not that long ago. Good. So good. We're, yeah. We're he now, also we're now follows online, me around so. and makes sure that I'm not being a, a dork on camera. Cause last <laughs> night I was like, Oh my God, what if I do this? And he's like, you'll be fine. Just don't say this or don't do that or don't, you know, burp or whatever you like. <laughs> you can burp on my show anytime you want. I almost I said I held will. it in. <laughs> I probably will at some point. I should have let it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, right. so. So you kind of just do shows during the um, during the months when you're going to have yeah. traffic. So like yeah, spring, so we'll be like spring, we constantly fall, rotate or... rotate art, and um, as we sell things, and um, at the end of the season, we'll send pieces back that didn't sell. And it's only been we've only been open for a year, just over a year, and half of it's been a pandemic, so we haven't really <laughs> been open. Um, All right. So next year, we're hoping that with everything under control, at least with the masks and getting people to at least follow guidelines, that we can um, sure stay open because it's such a small space that we, we can only let a few people in at a time and everything. But yes, we have, um, we send people's work back to them at the end of the season or, um, and get new stuff or maybe we're trying to curate it more. Our partner, my best friend is, um, she, her art taste is so varied compared to mine and my husband. So she brings in all this really cool stuff that we're like, do I like this? And then we're like, I kind of like it, <laughs> but like, and her, and the stuff that she brings in people buy all the time. Cause it's <clears> like, you know, um, it's different. And, um, so we're, we try, we're trying to gear it more towards cryptids, uh, at this point in the, you know, like, like outdoorsy mountains, trees sure. and whatever. That I'll, I'll send you some pictures sense. of our store. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So a Sasquatch <laughs> fly fishing yes. is going to fit right yeah. in your gallery. <laughs> For sure. And people are, I didn't realize people are so obsessed with Bigfoot until, we open the store. Like we watch all there's the like five different TV shows about Bigfoot. Yeah, well, <laughs> what? And there's like a million documentaries and we sell those movies in the store too. And, um, it's insane how, and like there, the stories up here are, are just crazy. Like just, uh, Markleyville, which is about half an hour North of us. That's a truck stop. Um, 
And truck drivers constantly are having these Bigfoot sightings. And it's just bizarre that you're like, people are like obsessed. And they're like, let me tell you my story. (laughs) So like my, I want to record these stories so bad so I can, you know, keep like a blog of them, but I'm so bad. I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, your husband's a writer. What? Yeah. Well, he does, he does. And he'll, um, but he'll like tell like, it's like historical poetry and they're uh, really cool. Um, he's just, oh, I want to check he's that so out talented. for sure. Yeah, he's, he's the best. I love him. You guys it's look like you have a proud. really great family. Like I, I looked at yes. your pictures on your Facebook and I was like, ah, <laughs> oh, and that like, makes me happy to see like a nice, yeah. happy family. I'm, the pandemic has been fine for us because we like, we do every, we've done everything. I think I've had three days away from Rob in 10, 12 years. Um, wow. he's literally my best friend and he'll tell me not to call him his best friend. <laughs> Cause it sounds dumb, but he really is. And um, well, I my, think any I, good yeah. relationship, that's like yeah. probably the most important factor. Like you yeah. gotta, you gotta like the other person. Like all oh, the yeah, other things, fine. you yeah. could kind of sort out. But if you mm-hmm. don't like the person, the other, the, the intensity of any of the other factors, yeah. it, it yeah. can't survive that. No, you have to like, be. It's like me and my, <laughs> me and my wife have never really. We've been together for ten years. We've never really had a fight ever. Like one or two times. Well, that's like, cool. Oh, so we fight we just all the don't, time. But... <laughs> we, we don't really fight. We don't really bicker. Like, like we just, just get we along. Don't really. That's yeah. Nice. We, that's nice to I, hear too. I would say that like every other relationship mm-hmm. that's, that's ever existed <laughs> pretty much in America, uh, this year, mm-hmm. everybody got to spend more time A with lot. their, <laughs> with their partner than mm-hmm. any other time. Yeah. And that's weird. Like American society is not set up in a way mm-hmm. that you are with your spouse all day, every day for six mm-hmm. months. Like you're, you see each other at night, like, and you yeah. see each other a lot on the weekends, but uh-huh. like six straight months yeah. of not being able to go, that is, that always <laughs> changes the dynamic. You know it what does. I mean? Like there's no way yeah. it couldn't not change the dynamic, but. Maybe again, it'll make just, some positive changes. We picked a project. We decided to make this show. And so we, we had a goal and we just focused on that, you know? Yeah. And you both are really (laughs) involved in it. I mean, obviously you are, but you talk about your wife often uh, doing all your PR stuff. And I think that's awesome. She handles all the social media. (laughs) Yeah, that's great. She's always finding me guests. Like uh, you, you were another one of the ones where like she watched the Tom Laura episode and she's Uh like, well, you have to have her on. She went and saw She went to, to your Instagram was like, you have to have her on. And I was like, well, she's got to agree to come on. I can't make anybody do anything. But she was the same way with Nick Simich of Uh Artco. She came to me and she was like, she was like, have you seen this guy's work? And I was like, yeah, I've known that dude for like 20 years. And she's like, he's got to be on the show. And then I asked Nick, I asked him and he's like, nah, I don't, I think I'd be terrible. And I was like, Oh, he was so good. You don't get to decide that. I get to decide that. (laughs) His interview is my favorite. I know it's going to remain my favorite because he's just that he's just a cool dude. Well, I'm here to tell you that you are not alone. It is by far and away the most downloaded episode on the YouTube channel and on the, well, not on the YouTube channel because some of the early Uh ones when I first launched got a a bunch like right away, but Uh on the, on the audio downloads, he's, he's five times more than the next episode. Like yeah. <laughs> by a major amount, he is the most popular episode. I believe and when it. I told him that he just couldn't believe it. He's like, you're, <laughs> you're, you're fucking with me. And I'm like, no dude. And he's like, well, you must have a bunch of kooks as your listeners. Said. And I'm like, come you on, do. man, take the compliment, Nick. You God damn it. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> when he said wieners, I was hooked. I was in. Because that was, nobody, I don't get to, you don't hear that word. <laughs> it was so like, funny. Yeah. Well, you know, that's like the ultimate <laughs> Nick, right? Like he's yeah. not going to yeah. say dick. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, that so would funny. be way too common. He's going to yeah. find a different way to do it. Yeah. I love uh-huh. that dude. I mean, we've been friends online for, for a million years and yeah. he's just, uh, it, he can't make something I don't like. Yeah, no, it's I agree. Ridiculous. My husband actually was the one who started following Nick first and was like, bought all of his t-shirts and stickers and was like, dude, this guy is rad, you know, because my husband likes all that stuff. And um, I do too. And um, so then since then we've just been hooked and now I'm like, you know, everything he does. I'm like, this is so awesome. I love him. I yeah, think he's, he's the best. I love that dude. He's <laughs> like super great. Um, so what do you have anything in your personal work that you have coming up? Like, do you have any, obviously nobody really has any shows. So are you just like yeah. stockpiling paintings right now or 
No, well, I'm I'm, I'm catching up on stuff. Um, <laughs> it's that. just me, and There's I paint that. slow. <laughs> um, so I've got um, I'm starting a humongous, my biggest commission to date. I'm starting next week. I at least start sketching, um, and it's going to be an eight foot uh, Flintstones inspired piece, which I'm like. Uh, I could, I can't believe the guy is paying me to paint this. I cannot believe it because it's going to be, I'm so excited about it. I love those projects. Um, I know, right? You're like, um, I've really? Been doing, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of logo work and uh, I actually have, got, I have them sitting next to me, but I, um, I got to paint some cards this week with some girls and little hot rod things oh, with nice. pineapples and shit. And uh, those are for a bar in uh, Texas. And I do, um, I'm doing stuff for a guy in Germany for his uh, wow. uh, whiskey, um, distillery um i'm kind of all over the place but it's not anything real mainstream so like you sound awesome and you're like i do all this work for like you know cannibal corpse and ice tea you know all the things (laughs) that you do and i'm like damn it that's so awesome and i i work with a lot of um less small businesses i guess and um do stuff but i'm i'm busy i i people started canceling commissions in march when the pandemic hit and i was like fuck what am i gonna do with myself and then um, after that, it just kind of like just ramped up and it's gotten busier and busier. So I'm fortunate. Um, I'm very fortunate because I've been freelance for four, going on four years this year. Um, and I haven't, it ha- it's been good. It's been steady. I'm, I'm so lucky. I can't, I, my husband forced me to like, he's like, you need to quit. So working at a general store in the mountains and he's like, it's a gas station. <laughs> he's like, you need to stop working at the gas station. <laughs> it's time you, you know you, you could make focus. way more money yeah. babe, i know and it's, your, and it's been yeah. good you know we we bought a house and we're um wow we're that's amazing going the mountains <laughs> you know so a lot uh, of private a, commissions on my end i wish i had more like exciting things to tell but i have a ton of ideas if um if a solo show is ever in my future again um i've well, got some you have your own gallery I, want. <laughs> I know i know but it's just so it's just so uh, it's not down you know i want to go back to los angeles <laughs> for all you, that stuff you too. said that you that you mm-hmm. it, that you paint slow like the painting behind mm-hmm. you like how long would it take you to get that something like that done okay so that one i was so excited to paint i probably sat and painted it for four or five days straight like in 10 or 12 hours in between you know feeding kids and doing whatever um sure. which i got done fairly quickly but um I've been working on, I have this uh, three foot by four foot um, uh, biker painting that I need to get done. I've been, I started it like a year and a half ago. Um, and it's got, it's called Satan's teardrop and it's got the devil in the sky and she's laughing. And then there's a, you know, probably the biggest boobs I've ever painted in my life or, you know, this girl <laughs> leaning up against her chopper and there's vans and fires and Godzilla and like all this cool shit. And the guy that I painted for, um, it has turned out to be one of my, one of my coolest friends. Um, oh, so awesome. I need to get that one done too, but that one's taken me a year and a half so far. Cause I'm dreading, I have to paint Las Vegas. I'm like dreading all this technical shit. Cause I'm just not technical. Artist. I feel you. I feel you. There's <laughs> always, there's always some part of something that I have to do where I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off. So I've got mm-hmm. to, I got to dance around it for as long as yeah. I possibly can. <laughs> right. I know I, we've been talking about it for five years. So I just started painting it a year and a half ago and now I'm like, I'm, I'm working on it. I promise. You know, and I, I just, it's like, it's like too much in my mind. I, and I have to, I'm going to, I don't know how you are with projects. Well, it sounds like you can do multiple things, but if I start a painting, I'm really like, I, ha- I have to focus on the one painting. I'd love to say I can work on multiple pieces at one time, but I can't because I have to like all my energy has to go in my color usage on one piece, you know, and then, and then move on. So that's why I get things done so slow. Cause like, I know this painting is going to take me a year and I can't, I can't put off everything else. So I'm still not, I can't work on the painting. I can't, <laughs> I, can't. I, I totally not understand. Enough room. I totally mm-hmm. understand that. My, it drives my wife insane where she's like, why don't you just get it done? And I'm like, mm, doesn't work uh-uh. like that. It, is, <laughs> it yeah, doesn't yeah. work like that. Yeah. You know, we're not, uh, we're not, uh, you know, putting together furniture here. We're, yeah. <laughs> you know, no, and, it's, and uh, it's like, and then once you're in the zone and they're like, we got to go. And I'm like, ah, I, but I'm painting. I can't, I can't do anything today. <laughs> it's like, there's a, there's a yeah. saying that, that, uh, I can't remember who it's by, but it, it keeps coming up on the show and it's like, uh-huh. you know, I, I need 12 hours to draw and eight of those are getting ready to draw. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, Drinking or paint coffee. or whatever it is. Yeah. Like, you gotta get, you gotta get yourself in the right it doesn't just work. I, 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 I am probably a lot better than, mm-hmm. than average at being able to just crank stuff out because uh-huh. I was in the video game industry so long and you yeah. still don't have the luxury of being deadlines. Yeah. You don't have the luxury of being fussy about that stuff. It's like, yeah. you got to get it done. And so it, I have benefited 
from the first, you know, probably five or 10 years of my professional art career yeah. was deadline, you know, stuff. And so I probably do better, but, um, <laughs> you know, I think one of the things that, you know, that like the painting behind you, like, uh -huh. you know, it takes you the amount of time it takes you and yeah, but you have mastered the skill of making it look like it's done really fast. You know, there's really that. that's something that means a lot to it's me because I wish a, it's a I, crazy I could do skill. Like <laughs> bar style, you know, or like people that yeah, mine are really slowly painted. That's why everybody waiting on a commission right now. I'm sorry, I promise. It's like, yeah, I'm like Glenn Bar really looks slow. like he just like waved his paintbrush <laughs> at the painting, yeah. and and yeah. it was like, and a perfectly <laughs> proportioned yeah. woman came out of yes. it. Um, and, yep. and 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 that speaks to Montez a little bit, and then people like uh -huh. Johnny Sampson. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Johnny Sampson. I don't work. know him. Um, Do I know him? I'm it right. harkens to and and yours too, and it goes to that hawk weirdos thing where, mm -hmm. um, in the '60s there was like game board art, uh, yeah. movie posters, yeah. um, box covers, things like that mm -hmm. that were done in that kind of gouache style. Yeah, that look like it's like pop 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 like just like little dabs of color that create like uh -huh. perfect lighting. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, that's like plain air, like, but like not like cool plain. Like I love plain air, but like, yeah. Or they can just go dun, dun, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, the sun is setting on those bushes right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so like your, your work in, 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 to me, when I look at it, it's in that same, it has that same feel of like, Oh, she just like, is so good at this that she can just, it just probably took her like 20 yeah. minutes to paint this. You know I mean? And I know yeah. that's not Time's real. Up by five hours. <laughs> I know that's not real. Cause you know, yeah. one of the things I was saying, like I worked for this game company and, um, in, and over the last year they have this new game that's coming out and, um, they were like, can you do like a box cover? That's like that, you know, like a sixties, like Milton Bradley, yes. you know, gouache. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, well, I never have, but you know, I could paint stuff. So I think I yeah. can figure it out. And, um, and you it's know, really fun I, to paint I spent that like 200 hours, <laughs> you know, painting, <laughs> painting a box cover yes. that ended up not being good enough to use, you know what I mean? Uh, Cause I couldn't, I was fine with all the background stuff, like, uh -huh. but there was, there was people on it and I couldn't nail the faces at all in that style. I just don't, yeah. I just don't have that. There's um, things that we're I good could at. acquire those skills, yeah. but I don't have them. <laughs> I didn't have them when I needed them. I feel that uh, a lot. A lot of times if I stray from what I do, like someone's, I had to do a, um, a band album cover recently for a group in Oregon and um, it's five dudes and they wanted themselves as monsters. And I'm like, okay, I, that's not really what I do, but, uh, but okay. And then I did it. I'm like, this is a bunch of shit. And they, they fucking loved it. You know, I was like, well, that's <laughs> awesome. But I like in me in my heart, I'm going, I'm never doing this again. Cause there's just, you know, there's like, you know, when you feel good about something and that's, that's what you want to work on. Like when you're like pumped sure. and you're like excited to do it. And um, I'm right there with you. Cause I get those, uh, <laughs> those projects a lot. And I'm like, I just started recently telling people that you're like, I just can't. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, I, I can't do it. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not good enough to do it for you. So I'm not, I'm just going to tell you no now because I'm not going to do it. Well, I have like fear is my biggest motivator of yeah. like the fear of having to go to back to work for somebody else. Oh yeah. <laughs> Other yeah. than myself is my greatest motivator to just to never <laughs> say no to anything. I was like, well, if I can make money doing it, I'm going to give it a Might shot well at least. It. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Uh, you know, I but just, you're, I you can't. get to, you have, your style can encompass a lot of other things. Yeah, you know, I, I do. I do pretty well with cover and a lot of different ground to be able to mm -hmm. keep myself afloat. Uh, but you know, like, like, I, if I, if all I, if, if money was not a requirement in my life, I would just paint. I would just paint. Yeah. I, I love That's painting. all I want to do. I, I'm definitely not good enough <laughs> at it to support stuff. myself as, yeah. as, as a full-time painter. Um, mm -hmm. but I wish I, I wish I could, but yeah. I, but I, you know, that's what but, I would prefer. I want the Todd Shore life where I could be paid for a year to paint just one giant painting and, yeah. and just decide if I'm going to paint another one. <laughs> work on my life's work yeah the, the yeah. mark rydens and the tards todd, todd shore oh god of, yeah of the world yeah it would yeah it would be fantastic. mark rydens another one yeah <laughs> well he's one of those ones that you know he he was on the come up to a whole different level than mm -hmm. than even like robert Everybody, williams yeah. or anybody oh when the like ballet came in, out that was like he thing, got into you know? the basquiat warhol <laughs> realms where it's like yeah. oh we're talking seven figures Whoa, yeah we you know which is some, that's like a whole nother thing. And you know yeah. what? 
he deserves it. His he is oh, he's another great. one of those tr American treasures. You know, yep. it's like and he's so nice. I only met him once too, and I'll never forget. He was wearing a um, an orange shirt with a jack o' lantern face on it. It was like <laughs> it was like tucked in. <laughs> And he was, he was so unbelievably nice. It wasn't even a show. It was like basement or um, one of those guys. I don't remember. Or, or uh, what's his face? I can't even think, I can't think of anybody's name. Anyways, but he unbelievably nice. And um, his work is yeah. just fantastic. Yes, his work is, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and paintings, Camilo Garcia. paintings that and, are in yeah. like millions of dollar range. Yes. Yeah, usually pretty yep. nice. <laughs> He's pretty nice. So, you know. Well, it is surprising when they're not, you know, like, you know, when, when you meet someone and they're kind of like, Oh, you're kind of an asshole. Oh, and it, you're like, we talked about that earlier. It kind of ruins yeah. the whole, like, oh. It's super yeah. rare. It's, it, yeah. and I, you know, I, I guess I've been super fortunate. Like, even with, mm -hmm. like, all the, the bands that I've been in, like, mm -hmm. I've never met too many other, you know, artists and musicians who weren't also super cool. Yeah. You know, I maybe it has something to do with my attitude, like, just always trying to be on the friendly side of things yeah, but that's how um, I'm too. I, you know i'm the i'm the person who's like if i talk to somebody for five minutes and there's no and i and i can tell there's no weirdness there then they're my yeah. new friend and i just treat them that way. i treat them like <laughs> i treat friend. everybody like yeah. yeah i treat everybody like i've known mm -hmm. them for all of my life <laughs> you know what yeah. i mean it's like I, I don't I see to, any other way to to, to to live my life i don't want to yeah. live any other way you know like i nope. i want friends i don't want I don't want to have grief with people. Like I, I don't understand what they get out of it anyways, when they're not, when they're yeah. not nice to people, like I I, my kids above all kindness is the, the main thing that they all, if they're not nice to people, they're going to be in big trouble, big trouble. <laughs> Even I, I think, I, you know, I, all I can ever chalk it up to is that how, you know, I think some people just, they got damaged along the way and they, yes. and they, and it's, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, and so I try not to judge yeah. people. I try not That's to judge people to because too. I understand most of the time that, uh, you know, how people treat you is more of a reflection of yeah. them than it is you. And so, yeah. you know, I don't know what people's circumstances are. I don't know what they've That's been true. through in their life that puts mm -hmm. them. Maybe they at one point in their life, they were somebody who was like just friends with everybody. And then they found a, a string of people who weren't nice and they broke that part of who they were. Yeah. And I yep. can't judge. I can't judge people. So, you know. Even people who I run into, I'm like, ugh, you know, I still don't judge them. I'm still like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I find I'm some way, way to be empathetic yeah. where it's like, well, I, I'm sorry that that person finds himself in that situation. I do the and same then, thing. You know, yep. And those people are <laughs> it's just, a better way to be for sure. <laughs> some people are maybe. just born without all the right parts there. And, you know, <laughs> Well, maybe they do. Maybe they're just uh, different, different parts. Just different yeah, parts. yeah. I, we we kind of covered that a little bit before we started <laughs> yes. recording. Yes, um, we some did. Some people we've run into over the years that maybe fit that mold a little bit. Um, yep, and, and but it is few and far between. Like you know, we're all <laughs> big family in the art community, and especially yes. in California. You know, yeah. it's like California. In in California, but in Southern California, we're uh -huh. a particular breed of people, and so I think yeah. you know. You know, yeah, when you go to Southern the car California. show, when you go to the yeah. you know, a show at Lulu's, like pretty mm -hmm. much everybody's just hanging out, being super chill. And mm -hmm. that is yep. that, if, you know, if I have, I've achieved so many things in my art career, things I could have never dreamed I would ever get mm -hmm. to do. But getting a piece in Lulu's is that's the only thing. Lucky. That I've, <laughs> I, no, that's the only thing I haven't been able to do. Oh, you haven't? You know, Maybe we should no, just start I've submitting never, together. <laughs> yeah, I've never cracked that code yet. And it's like Take us both. Yeah. I probably Someday. have people I know that I could I could probably find a way to big time my way in there through people uh -huh. I know, but I would never ever do that. Yeah. Um I'm just yes. I definitely I won't that either. person. Yeah. Um but you know kind of ruins it if you're not just invited. <laughs> also, I have yeah. never I've never put myself in a position to I'm, I'm not magically going to get asked to be in that gallery. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, I've never put myself in a position where I, I could be, but I have submitted. Yeah. They just I, say I'm, your work's so fine, but no, thanks. thanks the for. best I've been able to get was an email address with somebody where I could be like, Hey, check out my work. And if there's something you guys have going on, yeah. I think that happened once and yeah. you know, it never got an email back on that, but <laughs> you know, I mean, it's fine. Again, you. like, you know, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. You know, again, it's like, I'm too busy doing 10 different things to yeah. focus on trying to really get one thing happening. Yeah. But you know, with my YouTube art channel, um, I really haven't painted much. I think I've done a couple paintings in the last like five years. Oh, wow. Um, 
and you know both That'll be good practice were, for you too. Were gallery shows like uh -huh. one was um for uh, uh the dark art uh emporium in long beach i have yeah a those are my those there. are my dudes yeah I yeah love yeah, those guys. yeah i'm mm -hmm. jeremy cross is going to be in uh in, on this season he's a neat guy too. i don't know yeah. him very well but he's, he's super work. talented yeah he's really great we've we've been in some group shows together at hyena uh -huh. before and i've met him. he's mm -hmm. he's an incredibly nice dude so yeah yeah so i have a piece in there that i painted and so i'm looking forward to having the art channel as like an excuse to to Get paint painting, more yeah. as mm -hmm. I, you know, and one of the things that I'm doing is, um, and the, the guest, um, Adam McCarthy, who, who mm -hmm. has some stuff in Copro, uh, uh -huh. and stuff like that. He, I love he's Copro. going to be, this is, uh, your episode will be out in January. We are in the uh -huh. last week of November and he is this, this week's guest. And, um, we talked a lot about oil paintings. He's an oil painter and I've mm -hmm. never oil painted. And I, part of so my fun. art channel is going to be, <laughs> Everybody getting to watch me learn how to oil paint all on my I own. I want to see that one for uh, sure. Yeah, it's going to be its own little series. That's awesome. <laughs> Mike failing over and over again. <laughs> you know what? I don't think, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a puddle. I, I just took a plein air class this past summer because um, in the mountains, and uh, we have a very well-known uh, plein air artist and bishop, um, Frank Serrano, and he's, got, he's mm -hmm. so amazing. And um, I am so far not like beyond not a realistic painter or plain air or whatever. I had the best time and Royals are really cool. And I even tried to do it again by myself. And I was like, I am not a plain air painter, but yeah, oils we'll are really um, <laughs> something or other. And um, just, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, <laughs> if you tune in, you're going to get the chance to I'm see I'm going to watch it for sure. Uh, I think it it's looks gonna be like, awesome. um, I commiserate with you. Like, <laughs> I'll have first episodes for the YouTube. It looks like the YouTube art channel will probably launch at the beginning of January. Cool. So I'm like, December is going to be a hot month of me, of me getting yeah. a lot of work done. <laughs> um, so I'm recording yeah. all my podcast episodes right now so that I have them in the bank so I can just work in November yeah. or in December. But I have a bunch of, I think I have like five episodes worth of stuff recorded. Um, oh, great. You know, so I already, I'm ahead of it. I have to edit stuff, but I have footage recorded for a bunch awesome. of awesome well, like i look forward to it yeah i mean it <laughs> should be I, hopefully it'll be hopefully it'll be fun um i feel like we didn't talk enough about your work this whole time oh it's okay <laughs> i feel like you know we what? just chit chatted we totally sewing beat this whole episode it's very rare that i get to talk to someone from my scene my personal scene you know the things that i love especially the hot rub stuff and piz and in rat fink and um you know, i grew up in a garage and i it's nice to be able to talk to at you even if it's uh, it's like you can see my painting back there you know yeah <laughs> whatever yeah. um and it's it, i i had a really uh, good conversation with you regardless so oh, don't worry about yeah, it i think awesome. it's awesome that's awesome <laughs> um cool. i'm gonna i'm gonna let you go i'm i'm sure you have you have oh they're on the coming. trampoline i can I oh can they're already it. back all right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's my awesome. husband's like come on uh, yeah. okay cool oh, um thank you so much for coming thank on you. and i will let you know your exact date that um that your that your episode's going to be out Perfect. and i appreciate not only you being on the show but you being a, a, a listener of and yes a i love it of the show i and really I, love I, it <laughs> i appreciate that and, and you know being able to reach out and, 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 and have people who, who I admire, admire the things that I do is always a huge thing for me. Um, yes. so I appreciate it. And, um, tell your husband, he's going to be getting a, a message from me to come on and talk about <laughs> I if, will, he's I will. if he's open to it, if he's open to it, you guys want to talk about punk him. rock. Oh, he'll no, He's like, you guys have a lot of music all day long. I can do it yeah, all day long. Um, <laughs> yes. He's, um, that's probably what you'll get. Or if you want to talk about writing or fishing or everything. He's, yeah. He's yeah. In. I'm, you know, <laughs> writing is another one of those things like sculpting that, um, I've oh, always so wanted to, I, I am a closet. I'm a secret writer. I, I write all the time, but I never, uh -huh. ever really show anybody. I do. I have a uh -huh. secret, um, Facebook page <laughs> that I put writing up stuff on and I, I never have ever advertised it, for it ever. <laughs> I, there's no link to it to me that I know of. And I just throw stuff up there, um, and stuff like that. And cool. you know, some people have found it over the years that know me, so maybe it's findable, but, share it. um, share it. uh, so yeah, so but I actually just had a first thing that I wrote published in um, in a zine called New Wave Chicken that's out this month. Um, I love that. That name. was actually <laughs> yeah, it's it's this it's this old school punk rock guy. He's uh -huh. in Hawaii. Um, his uh -huh. name's Steve Hart. Shout out okay. Steve Hart. Nicest, uh, just the nicest guy. 
And uh, yeah, his is zine. He raises chickens, so he decided to make this zine <laughs> called New Wave Chicken. There's and, little uh, chickens. That's awesome. Yeah, and like so, all of the uh, all of the art is like chicken related. It's amazing. Like <laughs> <laughs> the the company logo. Like I have, I have a sticker. I wish I could show it. It's like the crass logo, but it's like a chicken in the middle. <laughs> Yes. Um, so yeah, I've, I actually have my first published written piece in, uh, in something. I mean, it's you know, it's just it's in a zine, and and that's mm -hmm. amazing. Uh, it's more than that's I could exciting. have expected to to do with that. <laughs> but um, you know, this this show for sure is going. It's already opening like doors to different opportunities I could have I couldn't have never seen mm -hmm. coming. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, g give your husband a heads up if he wants to I be will. on. Have him let you know. Uh, you know. Have him let if me I know assure him that you guys are having punk rock conversations, I'm oh, sure he'll yeah. be like, we, Oh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you can't be around me and not because <laughs> <laughs> we love all that stuff too. But he's Absolutely. like, He was in a band and you know, years ago, and uh, he's from the South Bay, so he's uh, he's oh, got a whole different, yeah, oh, <laughs> now, yeah, and we really yeah. got to talk to South right? Bay, scene, yeah, that was rough, <laughs> yes, yeah, <laughs> he'll tell you all scene. about it. Awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for coming Thanks, on, and yeah, I, you know, happy to be here. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you soon.